I am an idiom. Not an idiot. Well, okay, sometimes I can be an idiot. But I found out yesterday I am an idiom. Uh, the last month has been pretty friggin' horrible. I've got screwed my ankle up and my knee a bit with that car going through the crosswalk and I had to quickly get out of its way and I, just before that I was sick and then after that I got sinus infection and stomach virus or whatever it was and the virus is still a little there a little um, and my voice went to shit from my the sinus infection and the stomach virus and that, my throat was screwed up from <clears throat> coughing, post-nasal drip, throwing up, and I just getting my voice back in that, and just feeling better, and I'm coming out of the shower at the gym, and whoever got out before me hadn't dried off properly, the floor was wet, bang, I go flying, and now my lower back is screwed up. Uh, it's a lot better today. Um, I mentioned it a little bit in my Flint's Follies. Probably should have mentioned it more there because it has been a month of Follies. And then Thursday night driving home, I hit a bump, my thumb. Yeah, that's why it's easy. It doesn't look that bad, but holy shit, it's painful. Hit the bump, it was raining, the handlebars were a little slick, my thumb went bang into the battery case and it ripped part of the nail right out at the quick. You never realize how often you use your thumb until you either lose your thumb or it bloody hurts every time you used it. Even text messaging on the phone, I'm like, dit, 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 with my thumb, can't, it hurts. So now it's like, eh. Eh, 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 eh. Hope you like the sound effects. Oh man! So it was just like one bloody thing after another. Huh. So I was talking at work yesterday. Uh, had to get one of my coworkers to help put the patch on my lower back, just so it would get there properly and stay. And one of my coworkers, Grace, she's like, Tim, we have a word for that. You're a Byungwon, General Hospital. In Korea, someone who has had a series of illnesses or accidents, um, they call them a General Hospital, because that's where all the injuries go. So, I am an idiom net right now. I am a General Hospital. <laughs> um, one of the things coming to Korea that can be very confusing is the word hospital. Um, I was sick, my director's like, oh, you should go to the hospital. No. Why would I want to go to the hospital? Well, you're sick. Well, I don't need a hospital because I have a cold. I need to see a doctor. Well, there's a hospital near here, we should go. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not going to a hospital. Not for a cold. What he meant was the doctor's office. Right below our school, there was a doctor. Uh, but Koreans tend to call the doctor's office the hospital. A lot of the doctor's offices, a lot of clinics actually do surgery in the clinic. Uh, some outpatient, some inpatient too. So anywhere that a doctor op <laughs> anywhere that a doctor operates, I didn't mean for that one to come out the way it did. Anywhere there is a doctor is referred to as a hospital, and that can be confusing. So one of the things I usually do teach students is if you're going to the West, there is a difference. Hospital, big place, emergency room, many doctors. Clinic, a few doctors, they have their offices, you go in. Office, one doctor. Uh, so, and right now me, I'm a hospital. Anyways, I hope your month has been less action-packed and filled with misadventures than mine. I'm looking forward to this month ending and going back to not <laughs> getting sick or being hurt. So have a good weekend. And remember, you too can be a general hospital. It's not just a soap opera anymore.